This is David Vinokur of First Website Design and Keyword SEO Pro. In this short video, we consider the importance of the words that are used in the page URL in SEO. Matt Cutts is the head of the department that looks for black hat techniques that have been used to artificially increase the positioning of pages on Google search engine results pages. In this video, he discusses the issue of page URL, explains that Google considers more than 200 factors in its positioning algorithm, and that we should include the important keyword, or two or three keywords, in the page URL. Here's one thing that I recommend. I like to do a custom structure on my URLs for some post name. You know, if your blog has P equals one, two, three, you're missing out on an, on an opportunity, which is Google looks at a lot of different things. We look at over 200 things. PageRank is just one of them whenever we rank things. Other things we use, things in the title, things in the URL, even you know things that are like really highlighted, like H1 tags and stuff like that. So if your blog has P equals one, two, three, you are massively missing out on opportunity to put a few keywords, not keyword stuffing, just a few keywords in your URL. So mattcuts.com slash blog slash sample post. It works pretty well. If you want to throw in the date, feel free, but make sure that you put the title and the, the keywords that are in the URL in some, in some way. Now here's a power tip. Notice something interesting. I did a post where I completely, for a while at least, dominated the keywords, how to change your default printer in Firefox on Linux. I know, I was number one, it was awesome. <laughs> that niche was mine. How did I do it? Well, <laughs> I made a good descriptive title, changing the default printer on Linux in Firefox. Notice that I changed the URL as well. So in the title I've got changing, in the URL I have change, right? Because sometimes users type changing printer and sometimes they type change. Now this is not spam. I'm not throwing in a ton of irrelevant keywords. I'm not even throwing in a lot of keywords. I'm just throwing in one or two variants that people might type. No one's gonna look at this post and say, oh my God, the title is a little different than the URL. Oh my God, he took out ING. Throw him in the clink. That's not the way it works. But just by doing some simple things like having title and URL and viewing them as separate opportunities to put a few keywords in, now you can rank for both changing and change. Relatively simple, but a lot of people don't think about that level of detail. This is David Vinokur of First Website Design and KeywordSEOPro.com. Thank you for watching this video.